All right, so there's too much snow in Minnesota to ride a dirt bike, and there's not enough snow to ride a snowmobile or a snow bike. So we took those two things, we put them together, and we made this. This is what came out of our brains. So we took the front end off of my snow bike, and then we left CJ's dirt bike the way it was. But we have like this timber sled thing that's supposed to make it like easier to move, and basically we're gonna try and ride it with that on. I don't know if that's even thing? a thing, but it is now. We're gonna give it a shot. And my favorite part about today is I don't know how to ride dirt bikes, so Ben's gotta do this. That's not actually why. He doesn't know how to drive clutch. Oh my god, I. I don't know where anyone got this idea it's like. because you drive a utility for me. You better air up your tires. Oh yeah. I was thinking I'd just do the back right. Jake, you should air up all of them, not just one. It's not like the comment section. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. We only show one tire getting aired up and there's comments. Did you guys are it? so stupid. You only aired up one so tire. Good. No, we just cut out the other three because it would have gotten it would have gotten boring. Oh, bro, it doesn't burn at all. All right, so I'm glad we got these tires aired up because what this little dolly is for is just moving the snow bike around in like a shop but we're gonna be really taking it to the test by probably bringing it up to speeds of, of roughly 40 miles an hour today 40 that's what i was hoping for oh my god <laughs> we're like yeah you know we can't do either of them so we're just gonna put a ski on the front but then we're just gonna put four wheels on it because that'll be better than one just way worse yeah <laughs> holy crap this is so sketchy He's on the road. We didn't know where he went. Oh, shit! I didn't like that at all. That looks so ridiculous. It looks terrifying. Dude, oh, he's like, where are we? That looks so scary. It's it's extremely sketchy, but I'd say the worst part about it is CJ's bars are like clocked, like. 30 degrees that way. Why? I don't know, did you crash this thing? No, Ryan did though. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Multiple times. Dang, dude, it's so funny watching you straight on because you're like, eh. You're literally yeah. going like this, like what on a it, jet what, ski. What did it look like when I popped it up? Uh, I thought the wheels were gonna fold under were it. Were they? <laughs> Just gonna dude. toss it. Yeah, off. dude, I was wondering about that. It's your local YouTubers. Everyone's got them. Come on, Mike, give him a little more power. He's having trouble. You ready? Push Mike? on his boot. Yep. Come on. Comfortable. I don't like that, dude. <laughs> oh, so Ben has troubles turning around, so he literally just goes all the way down one to the end of the road <laughs> and then comes all the way back. Yeah, it's pretty tough to get the footage when he's just like. for him to be like, I don't know why we do this shit, dude. <laughs> we're like, yo, let's build something sketchy because we don't know what we're doing at all and then just ride it, I guess. <laughs> that was a good one. That was really good. No, I always think of like YouTubers as the test dummies for the world. Yeah. Because it's like they test things that don't need to be tested ever. But everyone's like, <laughs> I wonder if this but works. If probably it works. Done. Get me off this thing. <laughs> Holy crap. You're doing good. You're doing really good. Yeah, I was feeling pretty good until I did that little mishap and yeah. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And that corrected and it was like, Dude, whoa, your whoa, whoa, leg, whoa. Your leg was just, you were like, you were like oh, you were shoot. You were doing the splits on the bike. Yeah, not ideal. I, honestly, the ski affects it a little bit, but I think I'm just 
rusty with my wheelies right now. Yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, no, no, he's going down. Yeah, no. And then you recovered. <laughs> All right, Mike, go wreck Hold yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I feel like a mother right now. Like, this is giving me so much anxiety. Dude, honestly, whenever Micah does anything, it gives me anxiety. I'm like, God damn it. Like, he'll be driving the truck, and I'm worried. Jake there forgot how to run a clutch. No, here's the thing. I had the clutch in, but there's no front brake. All right, the snow. Hold up, I want to see Jake drive this. Absolutely not. But it works. I, well I, I don't know when you would ever need this kind of situation, like <laughs> set up, but if you do, it works. We just proved that for you. So, what we originally did this for was to see if you could go through snow with the ski on the front, but a normal dirt bike tire on the back. And then we we're like, oh, we should try it up on the road with this. So, I think let's just take it off and then try it in the snow. Yeah. Here we go. And just and, like that. And just like that, it's ready for snow. Your dirt bike has a rev limiter, right? Yep. Just in case. Bounce her off it, man. Yeah. Okay, that's actually pretty fun. Except the back end, is you got no control. Squirrely Dan. Yeah, you gotta give that a try. That's actually way easier. That's easier? No, this is way easier. Oh. We honestly studded Micah's tires and then put that bike away. So Micah was like, hey, I should bring that out and compare his bike versus this bike and see how they do in the snow. Dude, I think we need to set up like a, like a track, but also like maybe add a nice twist to it. This is not what I... <laughs> had in mind when you guys said build a track. So it's kind of a uh, mixture of like a trials course with a little bit of like athleticism mixed into it a little bit. You know, you can't just rely on the machine. Yeah, this is not your typical racetrack, boys. We had a nice twist to it. Yeah. Jake, give him a little rundown of, of uh, how the course is set up. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get at the starting gate, you're gonna shotgun a dock, start your bike, Head out, take a left at Ken Block's rims, and get your way on up to the 2006 Super Tramp where you'll proceed to do a single backflip. Once you've completed that task, you'll get off, get back on your bike, head down the hill to the bonfire pit, go around that, look at it, looks pretty good. Come up to the KX450, which you can actually win at cboystv.com. Every $5 spent on our website gets you one entry. Shameless plug. Once you go around the KX450, you will proceed to the box, army crawl through the box, go up and over the ladder, get back on your bike, hit the dirt pile jump that has just been chilling, go around the donut berm and head into the pallet S-curve and proceed into the new jet ski jump. Once you've done that, you will go back around Ken Block's rims and head to the finish line. All right. Oh, and by the way, I didn't set up this course for nothing, and I'm going to be hopping in this. <laughs> On what? My trusty chariot. Dude. <laughs> she this, runs well. She runs well? Oh, yeah. She's alive and well, so not to be uh, that guy, but I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get waxed.
On your marks, get set, go! Mike, are you okay? Are you good? Oh my gosh, dude. You know, that was one of those race enders. It definitely was. <laughs> ben, I see you made it to the finish line. I believe I am victorious, boy. <laughs> a win doesn't feel very good when you're the only one that yeah, finished. <laughs> Jake, I know you didn't make it. What if we dismantled the That's pallet cool, uh, foliage out of your And, just, and you just hit it. I think you should jump it. Yeah, I really wanted to see that. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I look up from the camera and say, holy shit, he's heading right for me. <laughs> you were so close to hitting me. That's why you wear a tether, kids. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. What? You should have seen Ken's face, dude. I think he like almost had a heart attack. Well, dude, that was a success, I'd say. That was a great success. Yeah. Well, now you know, if you have a snow bike, but you don't want to use the back part of the snow bike, you can, and it works just... Great. No, quite yeah, you'll take first place in yeah. your local uh, race if you guys have races like like us. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, real quick reminder: five dollars spent on our website gets you entered to win this brand new snow bike, and uh, we'll see you next time. What are you doing? Coming out from the other side of the building. Oh.